Hello there. Welcome to question ninety-one of the exam practice medley. So uh, this is a l uh, this is you guys uh, a special request, uh, and you thought you understood what um, uh, supporter beam problems were, and uh, but this particular one uh, is bothering some of you. So let's look at how to solve this. Um, just before I start, uh, is just to give you a heads up. This is not as difficult as you thought, um, but you have to uh, separate the problems uh, uh, separately. So, uh, to start off with, we are asked to find the maximum load here. So, when you want to find the um, load at one end, we tend to be using the other end as a pivot. Okay, uh, but also you need to make sure you have enough information. So if this is your pivot point, so if you're taking moment about A, do you know this? And do you know this? Because the fact is, if you take moment uh, about A, that means this is forcing downwards, whereas this is not a force down, but it's a reaction force. Okay, so this is the reaction force. Do we know this reaction force? Well, we know here the reaction force uh, at point B is given as 26 ohm, uh, Newton. Sorry, um, And then uh, what we don't know is that. So you need to treat this problem only if you take the moment about A, which means at this point, because you've considered that 26 Newton, you can ignore this pivot. So what essentially you've got is a pivot point here and you have 40 Newton per meter so that means uh, in the center 0.5 meter is because it's exactly 1 meter so therefore that's going to be 40 Newton uh, 40 so let's do that again so that's going to be your 40 Newton and whereas here which is around here is going to be 26 Newton anti-clockwise and this is a uh, load so it's forcing downwards because there's no support so therefore the force is pointing downward okay so there's no reaction force for that one so that's 26 Newton so that means we have got two clockwise uh, moment and one anti-clockwise moment okay so let's start off with taking moment about a. So uh, remember, mom the sum of moment uh, clockwise is equal to the sum of moment anticlockwise. And the moment uh, you might like to give get yourself one mark by saying moment is equal to force times distance. Now I'm running something in the background, so it's a bit is there's a bit of a lag. So so bear with me. So let's do that then. Um, so looking at this problem rather than that one, because this is a simplified version. So um, so from there to there, the distance is, remember, it because it's uniform, so it's exactly midway. So 1 meter, half it, that is 0 0.5. So I will do uh, 0 0.5 distance times force. And so that's the clockwise, and then another clockwise one is to 26. Uh, sorry, this is a uh, uh, no. Sorry, uh, what am I talking about? This is this is load. Sorry, we don't know what the load is. Okay, so that's for I just use the variable L. Okay. I bet some of you were confused when you were looking at this, thinking, what am I doing there? So there we are. Um, so therefore, um, we have add. Um, L from here to my pivot point is 1 plus 0 0.25 so I can say the open bracket 1.25 the distance times by my L is equal to so the sum of my clockwise moment is equal to the sum of my anti-clockwise so if this continue to push up then the pivot here it will go anti-clockwise so it's equal to the distance times 4 so in this case is exactly 1 meter times 26 okay so there we are okay half of 40 is 20 plus 1.25 times 
algebra we can just put 1.25 L and that equal to 26 solving equations then so we want to make L the subject so this is actually worth marks if you demonstrate how you solve the equations or changing the subject of the formula so uh, let's do that so minus 20 on both sides that leaves you with 1.25 L equal to 6 so now I go ahead and divide um, both side by 1.25 therefore L is equal to 6 divided by 1.25 uh, let's get the calculator up so the maximum low will come to uh, 6 divided by 1.25 and that is okay um, so I'm I'm in the background I'm actually uploading the other videos on the YouTube I think that is causing the delay of this computer um, YouTube uh, is doing a beta version of upload and that I think is not very good right 4.8 uh, Newton that is the answer on the mark scheme so that's good so we've sort that out so we now know L is equal to the maximum low is 4.8 Newton so how's that um, I'm sorry about making this few, a few errors may have not provided you with a fluency of the task but um, but generally yeah so this is the, the the difficult part is to ignore this one take the moment about this and then solve the equation because there should be only one uh, variable missing which is the L okay so now um, it asks us to do it another way so the next task is to find the reaction force so remember when you have a pivot or a, a, um, a supporting um, a beam on this position here the force going down uh, pushing down so there's a reaction force pointing up so this is the RA so now we know we can fill this in now so L is now 4.8 Newton so how do we find this well just like how we found that, 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 that didn't know that we use this as a pivot so so to find this I can use this as a pivot not here got to be this one okay so um, so that means my problems is this so just like any moment question you've seen uh, like the seesaw one so you've got now to find the RA this way pointing up and then still we have the um, uh, 40 Newton midway along this beam here pointing down and then we have well because we're taking the moment about B so we don't uh, associate any force here so that leaves us with this L which we now know is 4.8 Newton I mean this is you know as I said many times you know the reason why you do part one has always got a reason um, for a part two uh, question so make sure you bear that in mind so you're most likely to use the answer from the previous question okay so uh, let's see which one is clockwise which one is anti-clockwise so if this is the pivot it will go round so this is the clockwise one so you might like to in the exam just to make a note and say this is the clockwise And here, uh, pivot is going down, so it's going to go anti-clockwise around this pivot point. Okay, so this is the counterclockwise. Okay, pivot go down and up, so this is a clockwise. So now we have to formulate this so that the uh, counterclockwise is on one side. So to solve this, we have this is the pivot along the distance here is still is 0.5 meters still so therefore we go so taking moment remember is about 
about position point B about B if you like and that comes to so let's do the um, uh, counter uh, clockwise here first so um, uh, what's easiest yeah so let's do the clockwise that way the RA var uh, variable will be on the left hand side you see so clockwise so RA yes so from there to there the distance is 1 meter times RA so 1 times RA is RA of course add um, so this this one here so from there to there okay so which is there to there is 0.25 So that's the distance times 4.8. And that equals to the sum of the counterclockwise moment. So therefore, from there to there is 0 0.5, half of 40. You know what that is then. 0 0.5 times 40. OK. So, uh, so that comes to RA is equal to sorry plus uh, uh, that's a quarter of 4.8 so that means uh, if you recall um, 4.8 to find a quarter is to half it and half it again so 2.4 half it again is 1.2 so that's 1.2 there uh, 0.5 of 40 which means is to half 40 that's 20 so that means RA is equal to 20 minus 1.2 and that comes to 18.8 Newton. So RA is 18.8 Newton and that's the answer in the mark scheme. So there you are. That's how you do this one.